Peter is a democratic <coughs> political strategist and media consultant specializing in candidates' causes with the democratic leaning. Peter is a talking head. I don't know if you like that term or not. <laughs> yeah, it's all worse. <laughs> on MSNBC, and he has gone to war with many of the Ann Coulters and Glenn Becks of the right. As reported to me by unreliable and unnamed sources, <laughs> I am to understand that Peter, that uh, prior to his successful Washington career, his beginnings were not that impressive. <laughs> His humble beginnings began in the basement of his best friend, wasting away the days, drinking beer and playing pool. Hawaiian punch. A former presidential candidate referred to Peter's beginnings as wasted youth. He's making this up. His, his teenage years were further scarred by parental oversight. focused on Peter's illicit behavior <coughs> under an apple tree in Kensington, Maryland. <laughs> Peter was a Senate page, a Pelican, a graduate of McAllister College, a USC grad school graduate. Peter formulated the Democrats for 1980 strategy with the Harrimans and served as chief of staff of Senator Frank Church of Idaho. He worked as a strategist for Bill Clinton, Al Gore, and the current White House. To his family, he's a beloved and generous son, brother, and uncle. And mostly his family is thrilled to have him back here. <laughs> as are we. We as chairs make the motion that we are very fortunate and appreciative that he is here with us, that we are getting to know him and him being part of the connection to STAR once again. We are in a midterm election year, and we know how difficult it was for him to make this commitment. Can anyone second the motion? Second! Without further ado, Peter will have five days to rebut the motion. <laughs> about why we are pleased he is here. And for any new shoulders, we have a stunt night where we pay tribute, okay, we roast the speaker. <laughs> And we will provide our closing argument during Friday night's night. Without further ado.